Welcome back. Now it's time to shed light on the important visit by Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli to the United Arab Emirates in which he signed a tripartite protocol including Egypt, the United Arab Emirates and Jordan regarding industrial partnership. And to shed more light on uh, this uh, pact or this protocol and um, uh, its uh, positive fruitful results which we are going to enjoy inshallah as peoples of the three brotherly nations. We are very much delighted to have with us Raif um, Dr. Amr Saleh, Professor of Political Economy. A very good morning to you, Dr. Saleh. Very good morning to you and uh, uh, to all the, the people that are watching us. Let's go immediately. Um, speaking about, as I said, the uh, pact or protocol which was signed yesterday um, between uh, the uh, United Arab Emirates, Jordan, and Egypt. And Egypt, of course, was represented by Prime Minister Dr. Medbouli. And to what extent this initiative is going to serve the development objectives or, to be accurate, the sustainable development objective of the three countries? Yeah, exactly. Well, this is uh, uh, an agreement uh, for industrial partnership. Uh, it's called Agreement for the uh, Industrial Partnership for Sustainable uh, Economic uh, Growth. And uh, this was uh, during uh, a meeting that we held uh, uh, between three countries uh, in Abu Dhabi uh, last Sunday uh, with the purpose of reaching uh, industrial integration um, uh, within the three countries. You know that the three countries seek to realize uh, uh, a cooperation in terms of the capabilities, uh, potential, and expertise of these countries to develop their competitive advantage uh, in the industrial uh, sector uh, at a global uh, level. The opportunities are uh, enormous. Uh, the, uh, the finance that have provided uh, Abu Dhabi with uh, a billion, uh, ten billion uh, dollars, uh, is, uh, is is enormous. And uh, I think it's going to be a very good opportunity for the three countries to develop a, a joint industrial projects uh, and to uh, realize self-efficiency uh, in very important sectors uh, like the, the, uh, the food sector, the health sector, health security, the uh, petri, uh, petrochemicals. And uh, uh, if you could notice that these sectors are very important today, um, at a time where we are living in a very uh, tough moment uh, because of the, 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 the war in, in Ukraine and its impact uh, on um, uh, uh, foreign trade. You touched and the very important strategic. point, sir. Um, well, the political leadership represented in President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Mabouli, in every occasion, they see the opportunity to speak about the inflation and about the economic uh, crises which we are facing. We here, uh, I mean the whole world, because um, the economic crises were not witnessed by the world since World War II with both the repercussions of COVID-19 and the Ukrainian um, uh, Russian struggle. Sir, is it a luxury or it's not a luxury anymore to have these cooperation packs or cooperation protocols? Do we have other options? Uh, you know, this is, this is not an option. This is one of the options that uh, we have uh, in order to overcome uh, this, uh, uh, this crisis. And the Prime Minister, uh, Dr. Magudi, uh, have said that uh, we don't have the upper hand uh, regarding the increase of the prices. This is a worldwide uh, phenomenon. But um, uh, in terms of cooperation and international cooperation and, uh, uh, between the, the three countries, this is going to help our supply chain and is going to help uh, to uh, harmonize the uh, potential, the existing potentials um, uh, in, uh, uh, in the three countries, knowing that you know, Egypt and Jordan, uh, they have a very high potential in terms of human resources, industrial capabilities. Uh, the UAE is now among the 10 uh, most competitive countries in the world. The UAE, uh, as you said, mashallah, they have lots of uh, companies uh, worldwide. They're operating uh, lots of companies. They own businesses worldwide, so they have the international experience. And they have the um, uh, very good business models uh, in terms of investment, international investment. So uh, that's why I think that uh, combining the efforts of the three countries uh, at this very uh, difficult moment in also uh, with regard to the sectors that have been announced, the six sectors, including, as I said, the petrochemicals, the food industry, um, uh, and the uh, pharmaceutical, 
which are three sectors, uh, very important and very uh, strategic. Uh, uh, so uh, this is going to be very helpful uh, for the uh, three countries and for the population in order to substitute the exports. Uh, uh, sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm very well said, sir. Interest. And to echo yeah. what you have just said, uh, there was a very important meeting which was held on the sidelines of the visit of Prime Minister Dr. Madbouli to Abu Dhabi, where he met with Emirati investors. And he said that clear that the cabinet welcomes the direct contacts with the Emirati investors or with investors at large to eliminate any obstacles on the way and to get rid of all the bur uh, bureaucratic procedures which may hinder the development or the progress of the investment process. How do you see these statements which were released by the Prime Minister in this meeting? Well, this is what we call, um, uh, my dear, political will. And uh, you know better than me that uh, uh, political will is very important for economic growth. Having a Prime Minister uh, talking about uh, uh, challenges and facing the challenges and that he personally uh, he personally but that there is a department, a special department uh, at the Prime Minister uh, Council uh, in charge of handling uh, the inquiries or the uh, problems facing the, um, the investors uh, is something very important and uh, uh, something excellent. So uh, having a Prime Minister talking about following up the investment and the projects um, uh, and the FDIs uh, in a country is a very important sign of political will uh, in, in Egypt. And this is very much uh, needed and uh, very fruitful for the um, uh, foreign investors. Sir, um, I, I, I'll be able to, whenever you're here, I should see this opportunity to speak about another uh, trip by the uh, Prime Minister, which took place only uh, a week ago to Tunisia, uh, heading the um, joint um, Egyptian-Tunisian Higher Committee. Also speaking about investments, also speaking about economic progress and about uh, mutual cooperation between uh, Egypt and another Arab country, which was Tunisia by the time. Uh, well, the timing is very important. The keenness to uh, boost our cooperation with uh, our brotherly uh, Arab uh, countries, it's really significant and it's sending a message to all other Arab countries and African ones too that Egypt is all the time willing to boost cooperation in all fields, particularly economic investment and trade, um, uh, trade fields. How do you see this and how do you see um, that the two trips are very close to each other. I mean, in time, of course. Uh, yeah, th this is uh, this is another trip and this is another meeting. Other meetings held by the prime minister in Tunisia. Um, uh, you know that, that Tunisia um, is a very close country to Egypt. We have very historical, uh, and very tight relations, and um, uh, Tunisia is facing uh, economic challenges, but. Um, uh, Tunisia has got uh, very, uh, uh, very good economic potential, and uh, the discussions between the two parties uh, uh, were about to increase uh, bilateral trade. Um, Tunisia is a, a very good market, and uh, as I said, the economic uh, and uh, political relations are excellent. And I think this, this is a good opportunity for Tunisia and for Egypt to increase. Uh, exports, uh, knowing that the distance um, uh, between them is going to be a very good opportunity and uh, a positive things regarding um, regarding um, uh, decreasing the transportation costs, which which is going to be beneficial uh, for the two countries and for the competitiveness of, of the economic sectors in the two countries. Well, uh, uh, Dr. Amr Saleh, Professor of uh, Political Economy, thank you very much for your input, sir, and have a very good day. Right after the short break, we're going to turn back with more, so stay tuned.